after the painting it goes to the kiln, it is painted, it is fired and uh, if it is a big panel it will get numbers at the back number one, number two, oh. number ten, number one and the stairways in the palaces or sometimes on the walls of the living rooms of the palaces just beautiful. Here's the finished product and here's they do the stencil and then they fill in the colors and the, the outline of the stencil with the uh, artists so they all look the same. They, uh, so the, the parts that were broken they didn't want it fixed so that's what they did. They just clean it and put it back on the on the and put it on the frame. And the same to these ones are beautiful too. The Christmas tree and what we have several really times here. The so that's the we're at a vineyard here. There it is in the background. And this man rescued these arches that were falling down, as well as this whole grove. We must have a hundred uh, thousand, two thousand year old olive trees that were going to be flooded by the dam that we saw before so he rescued these olive trees from being drowned and has replanted them here and they're just gorgeous. He's also got some artwork from ladies in waiting there. Modern art to go with his grove of ancient, ancient olive trees. And there's the Jasper ladies, the wonderful Jasper ladies. Christ. Christ. Yeah. This was planted by AC. the Romans AC, antes de Cristo. AC is BC. The Christ is not born yet. Yeah. Yes, before Christ. Christ. Yeah, before Christ. So this How is you are? this is 200, uh, 2,300 years old. 2,300 year old olive tree. That's bigger. Hopefully, you'll never make it. And, and still have a baby. Oh. Just beautiful, ancient, ancient olive trees. 2,300 years old still growing beautiful fruit. Look at these ripe olives here. Company. Then we'll see how Moscatel edges on those barrels. We go to the Girafeira. We pass through the bottling lines, although they aren't running today. And then we go outside to see the vineyards, the vinification center, and then we finish up the tour. So GP was found in Marina Reolos near Évora, where we produced the regional wine from Alentejo. Here we can also see this collection of tiles. We've got panels from the 15th through the 18th century here, Hercules. Huh? Treatment of two years, mm -hmm. and then the maximum that we age uh, is 10. But there are other companies that age for 20. The person that was for many years our major shareholder. So we had a special care for the building, and once it was for sale and we need new space, we decided to buy it. Reader's Digest building. So we wines with Portuguese grapes, also produce wines with French grapes grown in here. Over there we have Merlot planted in the 2000 years, and that part here. is Cabernet Sauvignon planted in 1998. 1998. And because of the soil and it's oh, okay. with other things. It's the irrigation the lake the behind us for the uh, vineyards. And there's the outdoor plant we just walked through. They're bottling outdoors. We are walking through a garden in the vineyard. Oh, and there, is that a swan? Is that a swan there with a black neck? Look at this old olive tree, huh? 2,500 years old. Look at this scene here, huh? There's the winery behind us. Is that a swan there, Folka? Yes, to feed them. Do you want to feed them? Sure. Feed them. Oh, they know what's coming. Oh, my goodness. Amy Coy is good. That's fun. Woo, woo. Oh, my goodness. Which is Mr. Abraham Lincoln. Oh. It is Lincoln. I thought it was Lincoln, yeah. And here is... Abraham Lincoln in Portugal looking over the vineyards and the arches from this 15th century structure. Famous JP Winery in Portugal, one of the most famous of the fine wines. And some more of the olive trees. Well then, do, too bad. Were you listening? Too, I'm not repeating it. This is the great granddaughter of uh, this. This is the great granddaughter of the only tree that survived Nagasaki bombing, right? Okay.
Oh, we have fresh bread from the uh, bakery yesterday. Wines that are made here, a, a mixed variety of four wines, muscatel, some figs, and cookies, and cheese, and crackers. Little kid is having a ball here. Little blondie. It's cafe time in Portugal. Here comes my wife without any coffee. No coffee? It's coming. You're going to bring it to us? Did you pay? Okay, there's the, uh, the bay reaching out to the Atlantic Ocean. That's a peninsula, and this is the Arib. Aribada, Ar no, Aribada, something like that. A former monastery, it's now deserted, but they're turning that into a hotel. And we are in a beautiful view here. In the Arabida area, beautiful winding road. Don't jump, Muti! I'm not your Muti. You're not my Muti? Uh oh. Don't jump, Mommy. Right above Folka's head is this monastery chapel. This is the Folka Monastery. No, they just named it after Folka. Chapel. Yeah. That's the monastery. No, this there. is the chapel. There are some beautiful fishermen's homes that they've turned into mansions now. Gorgeous area. And there's not fishermen anymore. One of the boats coming out. He's going to go do a little fishing. We just came down from the uh, mountain area to the Bay of Setubal, and this used to have a hundred sardine canning factories here. There are none now. Fishing has changed. It's all pleasure fishing for the most part. This be the, the expression, let sleeping dogs lie. There's one of them over there, and another one over and one coming out over there. Sleeping dogs are guarding their boats. But well, what is the name of the posada? I don't know what the name of the posada is. I forgot. Oh, shucks. Did you see anybody catching fish here? No, nobody. But look, Oops. did you see down there how colorful all the houses are? Blues and yellows and white. And, the, you know, look at all these houses there. So you could live here for a while? No. Okay, we're in the sun here. This battery pack is about to die, but we're going to enjoy the last moments of the sun before the sun sets on the horizon. <laughs> and here comes another boat. Fishing on the docks here. It's like a lighthouse, a warning point coming into this dock. And I'll just scan this around here. I come in pretty fast. We're in a uh, canning factory museum. I'm going to walk down the hill back to the central park and meet the rest of the crew. But this is sort of a cannery row. The sardine factories closed up uh, 20 years ago. And they have this exhibit of the people who used to work in the sardine factories. And they cut the grain. Right? No these finger protectors right. to the girls as a little gift. This is where linen came. And when it was turning on the bobbins, then they had the regular Thin linen coming out of the straw. Linen and flax. This is a ginseng? Is it a gin yeah. look look at when you take ginseng, look at what happens. You have the power and the strength of a dog. <laughs> Look at the size of that. Here's your old... Uh, I've never seen chestnuts that they put salt on. They turn white. Folk is buying her Coke. 
so she can have a scotch and Coca-Cola with me on the porch when we get back to the hotel in a few minutes and we'll get the view from our window. Where is she going? She can't find her way out here. There she comes. Another little cafe we have here. Come on. The little one's got a mind of her own. Ninety thousand inhabitants, much, and the view—it's really worth.